Hey, what's up guys? Mendel here. How are you all doing? Doing pretty good? Awesome. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how I write a guitar solo. Let's take it right in, here we go. Can I just show off how beautiful this guitar is? Like seriously? I mean, I try to be humble, but when I hold this guitar, all the humbleness leaves me, I'm sorry. I mean, look at that. My goodness, am I in love with this guitar? Sorry guys, I'm just... I'm just really happy with this guitar. Okay, let's do a solo. Here we go. All right, so here we are. So before I go into writing mode, um, I'll first explain my setup. And it's a tiny bit different, like improved from all the times I actually recorded before. So my guitar go straight into my interface, into the high Z input. I have the level set so, like the input level, so, um, so that uh, my DI is like has like three decibels headroom. So it's not too low and it's not peaking and stuff. Nice, like in the pocket where I want it to be. So this is my leg guitar, quilted maple top, mahogany body, roasted maple neck, ebony fretboard, and we're seeing the different Townsend Fishman Fluence pickups, which are at the moment my favorite picks of all time. Uh, and have it in the, the Telecaster mode or some, that, that's what I really like for my solo, like big fat and milky and creamy and... Uh. Anyway, so guitar with my Mogami cable plugged straight into my interface as the input, level is set. Uh, it goes to line output 3 that goes into my Kemper and that goes back into the interface. So I have it set up so, so that I record a DI and my Kemper at the same time. And let me show you this here. So just to get like a tiny bit of vibe. Uh, so this is my DI, which is like on zero because I don't want to hear my DI while I'm tracking, but it is recording. Uh, this is my Kemper. And on this signal, I have an, um, a delay just so I can hear it. So this delay is not recorded into Cubase. This is just something so I can get in the vibe. So normally you would say, so why don't you have like a delay um, uh, in Cubase or something, but that would have some, like this delay is without any delay, like input delay or like going out, analog digital conversion delay and that kind of stuff. Because the plugin is running on the universal audio interface chip. Anyway, so this is one of my, my newer songs. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to release this video before the song gets released or after the song gets released. But it's a song I'm, uh, I was working together with, uh, with Mario from uh, Call of Lilith. When I've in my opinion, one of the most versatile, amazing vocalists out there. So let's first check out the part that uh, I'm gonna track the solo over and uh, we'll take it from there, here we go. So that's the solo part. So my thought process now, I have one simple idea, which is, uh, I know it's in the key of B, it's actually F sharp, I know, but I like to think as my guitar is in standard tuning. And the riff is. So I have two things in my head. I have this, starting with this, That kind of thing. Uh, or start more like Thresh, like Slayer, like. But now my brain says, I really like this thing, this licky. That thing. So, uh, and I'm thinking like, should I do like B minor stuff? That kind of stuff, or more like, um, like B friggin' dominant. That kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna noodle. That's what I always do. Or sing something in, in, I have in my head. Let's. And I'm a terrible vocalist, I know, but here we go. So. Okay, so now I hear my head. Then something like from high to low. But this is still in my head. 
So let's try that. And I'm not recording it, I'm just like going through ideas that are in my head. Okay, so now I have... So, okay. Okay, so I really like this this thingy, like, especially when it's like a pull off, like this. That's cool. So now I'm trying to find notes. I put in between before I can do this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this or so that's like one added note. I mean like one added note to shift it up so I so I can end on. Like that's cooler. More like necrophages, kind of. So I, I don't want to play that note before I do this. That's it. That's cool. So now I do know that I like to start with this. But now I'm thinking maybe it would be cool to end something with that, like something with a dive bomb or something. So here we go. Something fast after that because I did my melody thing now I want to have like grades and do fast picking So I'm gonna just record this first idea. So I have it set up So I have the eye track. This is the camper and they link together so I can re record both of them simultaneously But I like this idea so I don't want to forget it. So I'm gonna record that. So here we go Zero volume because I don't want to listen to my DI. There we go. This is a bit better, just for the sake of it. I like this. I did a mistake. I did a palm mute, but I really like that. Like, so something like that. Ah, um, fuck it. I don't care. Let me turn the solo a bit louder, so because that's what we're going for in this video. I don't 
think of harmony as a thing, but I'm not not feeling a harmony, but maybe it's maybe it could be cool. So <laughs> I like third, like minor, ma minor, major third harmonies. That's sound cool though, but maybe a lower harmony would be good. Better so. So most of the time when I play lower harmonies, I like to play it like more like here. Because this sounds a bit fatter, like. Way cooler, I, I personally think. Like, let, let's loop it. It's short. Uh, or let's play the part a couple times so I can compare it. But first, the high one. Okay, that sounds cool, but perhaps a bit too happy. I'm not sure, I'll, I'll come back to that. I'll, I'm just gonna record a small idea, like one of the harmonies, so I know when I'm um, not happy with it, at least I know there was a harmony idea there. So now I want to go full rage mode, like going round something like that, like energy. I can't tell. I'm feeling pumped. Like I'm feel, I'm feeling this song. It's a thrash beat. I'm originally a thrash player. This is this is what I'm born for. Oh, before I forget, I have a tone which is an amp I normally don't use, Uber Shell, but it felt really good with this guitar on the song, so. So this pattern is, is a pattern, like more fitting dominant of the, like the Dimebag thing, like. That the, Cowboys from Hell thing, so this thing is bluesy, but when I play it like this, more like harmonic minor, but it's the same same idea, was, that's where the inspiration came from. So I really like that punch, like that attack. I don't know, I'm feeling like playing triplets, something like that. Okay, that's it. That's cool.
Okay, so this is like a typical Paul Gilbert pattern, like a typical metal thing, three notes per string. But it feels good to do, I, I must confess. Like normally, or like, I could also do something like, like something I did for the fellatio solo for boarded, like. Like the gypsy thing. Emil Wurzler. I like that thing, like. But perhaps I might still do it after the triple thing. But I really like this. Like, it's so. I know it's not like per se new or groundbreaking, but it feels really good to me. I feel inspired because I can play it, I can play it comf comfortably, com 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 comfortably at the speed. And now something pops in my head because my finger is here, I can put my pinky here. And I really like to play octave things with melodies like. Or something like that, but let's first try the triple par thing again. Play from the beginning again. How I feel about it. I have one th one important thing to say before I go on. So remember how at the beginning I said like maybe her perhaps be a minor thing. Or a B for chin dominant. Now I'm in this mode, the whole B minor thing is out of my head. Maybe at the end, some. I don't know, perhaps not. So I'm gonna record that, um, that triplet part because I really like it. Something like that. Yeah, let's play it a bit tighter. Normally I have a fret wrap. Oh, normally I have a fret wrap on my guitar neck. Usually the moment that aggression starts to rise and patience starts to slumber, but okay. Okay, I'll just re-record the solo later with the fret rip because the thing cleans everything up. Fuck it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Record a tire later, but I just want to record an idea. Okay, so that that thing, so after the triple thing.
that, that that's a melody line and melodies are beyond important for me. So I'm gonna calm down, try to come up with something. So we have, so before, before the melody thing. ideas there. Maybe it's cool with like finger pick with that. I'm thinking of a harmony now. Now I want to do some gypsy things and I want to end with some epic shit. that thing like did you think
So now I'm going to try to find out how I want to end. Do I want to end with... Or... No. So I really hate that I can do that dive bomb thing, but this sounds musical, this is the idea in my head, like... I think... Or maybe... Like with vibrato? I'm not sure yet. No, I think the vibrato sounds cooler going like into reverb when I mix it. So I want to end on this. Thinking, I'm thinking like tapping, like going all out, like it's energy and when I end on the high note because when I ring on the high note, Mario, Mario comes back in being awesome. So, okay, so I think paper, like tap the mini stuff, something different, like add a note with the diminished. Now I'm thinking of the lick I had in my in my in my mind. That thing go down from from so from high down, and then end perhaps on the note where I can start tapping. Thinking, I don't like just going down. Like, perhaps some high notes in between. Something like that, like on the offbeat. Something like that.
Yeah, that's it. For now. <laughs> I like this. Something like that, right? Sounds cool, okay. Because I'm thinking, like this sounds too standard. Like even this, I tried to do like a double, so to like break it up instead of I just like to do. And now I'm thinking for this part. Like, I like those high notes in between. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't play that fast somehow. Say the word poop if you've reached this video this far. <laughs> like, and can't hear this anymore. Say, just comment the word poop when you've reached the video this far and think like, just say the word poop, poop, dingle, dingle. So now I'm just trying to learn the lick. So with these kind of things, I just solo it, press record, and just listen to the click track. Just try to nail it. Jesus. How can this be so hard? That's it, okay, here we go. Please. There we go, fuck it. So that should go here. And now I'm thinking like water, like waves, like tapping a bridge away. That's gonna be a meme probably. But Because I like how it's connected, like, because this one ends with... So, 
Ohio. <laughs> But I need to do it in the tech, so I can't end. I'm, I don't like those endings. That's what he said. Really like those chromatic things. Something like that, right? That's that really, I don't know, over the top stuff. Okay, that's faster than I thought. Tapping stuff. I have this shit like this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm probably gonna record that note like this. Separately, but I don't know yet. I just kind of think I, I'm just gonna wing it in the sense of like I don't know where the notes are, I'm just gonna improv. Something like that. At least I want to end on this. I just think that's so beautiful. That's what she said. So we have... I could slide when I'm on a high note, the high string. place clean without my fret wrap but anyway like I really like staying low for this first instead of doing or maybe I 
anyway, I really like that part. Okay, I'll just record that for an idea. Alright, so let's take a listen. So now I don't like how that sounds. So now I'm thinking of doing, like my first days were like. Okay, I'm stopping. Now I'm thinking. That kind of stuff. Perhaps even like I learned from Christian Donaldson from Cryptopsy this thing. From that song from the Unspoken King, uh, something with demons, I think. I like that, but I really miss it. That's kind of stuff, the chromatic stuff in between. So, that's what I like. in 44 minutes <laughs> okay so now we heard like one roll could be cool gonna be it okay be motivated again I'm sweating because I don't know why but I'm sweating a lot now something like that but I like the two rolls backwards like the on the high string That's cool, okay, so we don't have enough time for to do that two times, but So 
what I'm going to do... Gonna keep that and check five years later if I like it. And now I'm just doing the last note. <laughs> Mr. Trembor there. <laughs> Alright. So let's check the solo now. Okay, I like basically everything. I'm gonna re-record a harmony because I don't like the high one. It sounds too happy, too mainstream for me. Mainstream. <laughs> this music. Uh, what was the thing again? It's like nice and wide. Here we go. So instead of doing because this note isn't the minor third, it should be. So I thought it would be. So, so I thought it would be cool to go to the Middle East. So I'm thinking this note is also an open note, so maybe I could do like some disharmonic. Let's do a little solo. So I still think the tapping part could be, be more of the top. That's the only thing, I like it besides that. I really like the lower harmony on this thing. Okay, 
I know I have the timer, but I'm going to record it on the other one anyway. Could be cool though. Could be cool. Perhaps even harmonized. No, no, no. Let's keep it simple. Now I'm thinking. I might change it. I like everything except that last part, this this part. I do like the necrophage kind of ending thing. I guess it is. Kind of thing, but I don't know. This part still bugging me. I'm thinking of triplets now, like one, two, three. I don't know. I'm gonna record it that day and then call it a day. To be honest, that, that, that picking thing, like, it sounds more aggressive to me, which I like. And I've done this thing a million times on, on my solo albums. And this thing, only on a couple of them. But I really like this, like, one, two, three, 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 one. Like this, like this is the perfect resolvement. Like one two three, 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 one. Two, three, one. Last time it's the whole thing. This sounds way, way better. I, I can't even comprehend why I even chose the tapping thing. Only thing I'm thinking now is because I do the... If I would play this live, it would go... Oh no, it's possible. Cool. Okay, let's take one final listen.
right, so there you have it. So um, it's a long video, but I want to make this uncut version. So without any cutting, you could exactly see how I'm thinking, um, writing this song at least. If I would do like more melodic stuff, I could make a video for that. If you made it this far into the video, let me know so uh, I can make a video for more like melodic ideas and stuff like that. This, there's some melodic ideas in this, but like stuff with, with without blast beats and skank beats and stuff like that. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna clean this the solo up, like do the, which is gonna take hours probably, but to clean the solo up. I wanna do it in less takes, so less chopped parts, but who knows, but to clean it up and then, um, this will be the final solo then, with some minor adjustments. Okay, my name is Mendel, hope you learned something today and uh, see you next time, cheers. Nine, go!